There was a mill near the top of a hill. A strong stream turned the mill wheel and flowed into a large lake at the hill's bottom. For many years, this was ideal, until the Kelpie came. He was a powerfully built horse, taller than a man. His coat was black as coal, his hoof prints wet from water, his mane was woven from plants from lake soil, and his eyes burned bright like fire. The Kelpie came out of the lake at night and gingerly approached the mill. He was there for a night of fun. If the door was locked, he smashed it in and went in still. He broke all the furniture and munched all the grain. He left mud and dried out plants everywhere. When the dawn came, he went back to his watery domain. He left only wreckage and hoof prints behind. That poor miller spent hours every morning cleaning up after the Kelpie's fun. Customers were told to arrive late, if the mill could open at all. The cost of losses began to stack up. If the Kelpie could not be stopped, the mill would be driven into ruin. One night, the miller waited by the mill for the Kelpie to arrive. Sure enough, it did. The miller called out to the great black beast. Are you sure you want to come inside? The Kelpie laughed at him. <laughs> I come in every night to have my fun. I don't see anything that can stop me. Don't you worry. I leave each day with the rising sun. I have a cat, the miller replied. I don't think you would like to meet her. The Kelpie shook off the miller's warning and went inside the open door. The miller was ready this time. He had borrowed the neighbor's biggest boar. He pushed the massive pig inside and locked the door behind them. No one could sleep from the noise that night. It echoed all around. The boar and Kelpie continued to fight, but in the morning, only the boar was found. The grain was mostly untouched. The furniture just dented. That night, the Kelpie didn't return. The mill's closure was prevented. And the Kelpie? The miller found him sulking by the lake one night. The Kelpie called out to him. Is your cat still at the mill? I her and her litter of kittens. I think they like it up there on the hill. Damn your cat and her kittens too. May every one of you drown. The Kelpie then dived into the lake and never again was found. The miller and the boar were just fine. The boar went home to the neighbor. Just to be safe though, the miller then avoided the water forever after.